we had never met each other, seen each other before. So we all, you know, 16 had the same reluctancies coming in. Jen pretty much drugged me in, kicking and screaming. Um, <laughs> Because, I mean, we'd been to Watermark one Sunday, I think, before that. And uh, she was like, you know, I think this is great. I think we should just give it a shot. Not having that comfort up front, it helped me a lot. It helped me be able to share. Because these people don't know me. They don't know maybe my whole backstory. So I can almost be more honest. Nikki drugged me as well. I was like, oh, man, I, just don't, I don't know anybody here. So I don't, you know, how's that going to work? Everything's on the table. Anybody can call me out at any time on anything. And not only that, but I expect you to do it. Yeah, when Bobby and I got into this group, we were going through probably the hardest time in our, our marriage. We really didn't know what we were looking for when we came here. And like Heather said, going through re-engage and just being able to bond and get together and being able to share. And I mean, we we're so much farther in leaps and bounds than I ever could have imagined. Richard and I came to that first meeting in the darkest time that we've ever gone through. And um, we had decided we weren't going to tell anybody our story. And you guys just showed such amazing love that it just came out. I think all of us in that first meeting shared something that hurt. And I don't think, I know for the girls, there wasn't a dry eye in our very first session. And you guys walked through that time with us and we were complete strangers. And you made our lives just so much better. Me being the oldest guy, but the youngest Christian, I feel like that uh, there have been times where, you know, some of the stuff that I find really easy is stuff that other people are growing into, and then there's other stuff where I'm just so lost. I've got no idea where I'm going. And I stop and I ask the guys, and say, like, you know, what do you guys think? They're like, no, you're doing great. And I'm like, okay, this feels kind of squishy to me. But no, no, you're doing great. So. I feel kind of squishy too. <laughs> <laughs> Four of us in the group had babies, and I just loved that um, we, Somebody set up a calendar, a care calendar, where we would get hot meals for the two weeks to a month after we had the baby. Nikki had a two-month-old baby and an older son, and she came to my door when uh, our baby was like two weeks old, carrying Starbucks, treats, the baby carrier, and all of that, just wanting to come and meet with me and serve me and um, mentor me as a new mom, and that was just I mean, that is just sacrifice. We can depend on each other. I mean, when I was pregnant and gonna have a child and didn't have a lot of family here, and let me tell you, that really warmed my heart to know that y'all loved me the way Christ loves me before we had spent even a year with each other. It's just that feeling of knowing that, you know, if I needed something, I could pick up the phone and all these guys would show up. When we went through the process as guys saying, hey, there's a couple of things I wanna work on. I need to, I need to reconnect with my wife, because just hasn't happened. You're having kids and you've been married a few years and I had just gotten away from that very shortly after sharing that. Um, being in, in the group with the guys and you guys saying, you know what, Michael Santiago, we're going to remove every barrier uh, to make sure you're dating your wife. And I'll never forget that first meeting and the big smiles of everybody in the group and, and one guy presented me a gift card, uh, say, hey, take your wife out on a date. Another guy giving me money, say, hey, hire a babysitter. You go date your wife. Just everybody's so willing to help each other with whatever comes up. My walk is stronger from hanging out with the guys and hanging out with the guys and making my walk stronger makes my marriage stronger and my marriage gets stronger. So I'm a, I'm a better father, I'm a better person, I'm a better, you know, man. I feel like now I'm married to my husband and we're not just roommates anymore. I think we all rallied around the common purpose of we're just trying to walk this walk together and, and help each other along. and. Some of us are being dragged to the maturity level that Brent, Brent was talking about, but we've grown so much as a group because we've kind of rallied around this common purpose.